Hello everyone. It's such a delight to be with all of you today. And my guides, the beloveds, wish to share with you so much of the glory of the freedom and liberation of the larger perspective that wants to be held for us at this time. And we want to do a guided journey to assist us to be in that glorious space with all love and all wisdom today. The first thing that we want to bring forward, which they gave me just a few minutes ago, was this feeling of what it is to actually be in control of your life. It is a very liberating experience. While everyone is out of control around you, what is it that allows you to be in command of your life. I've been speaking about this a bit already as it relates to holding the power, but the true sense of freedom and larger perspective of energy held within you is what another dimension of what gives you that sense of being in command. The reason we don't want to be in command in our life often is we're afraid we'll be all alone. If I'm in command, I'm out on the front line and no one is with me, and that doesn't feel good. Not to our hearts. So to feel that you can be in command of your life, you must be in that larger perception, that larger expanded field which we are going into today. And in this moment, I want you to feel the nature of the expanse that is being welcomed in at this time we get so caught in the details and there are so many details that are vital to our existence absolutely but getting caught in them thinking it's going to take us where we need to go to be able to ah let our heart rest when i get these things taken care of i'm a planner i understand when this happens when this person comes into line with me then we're good to go it's not how it works. I want you to take a moment in preparation to imagine someone sitting in front of you or the last interaction you had with someone and how quick our mind is, I'll say our because I know the experience in the human dimension in myself as well, to judge another person. To say, oh, I don't like what they're saying. I don't like the way they're saying it. It's hurting my heart. Why does it hurt your heart? It hurts your heart because you want something of alignment with that person. You want something so much of deeper connection to have with that person, the two of you together, so that you might deeply know connection. And then it hurts when you feel that they're on another page. And so you judge to push away so you don't feel that hurt. Yes, we know that existence. We know that experience. So let me share with you again. The feeling is we so deeply want soul reunion, soul connection to the expanded nature of love and wisdom and connection and clarity and all of creation. We want that. We long for that. We need to have it. It is essential to our existence. And to the degree that we don't have that sense of infinite oneness living within us, we will have a tendency to look to others to provide that kind of connection for us. Now, each person is an individual in charge of their own life, their own connection, and their own sense of what they have to bring forward. So you will not match up with another person most of the time in the very immediate small human nature of things. So there will be a feeling like, oh, that hurts my heart. If you're feeling that this person needs to be the one to help you get connected and feel connected. So once we feel that sense of deep connection within us, we don't ask others to fundamentally provide that connection. We co-create with them where they are, 
We're not saying be with me where I am, damn it. <laughs> We're saying I'm holding this. I inspire you. And I love you just the way you are in your unique expression. Because our unique expression feels solid within us. It feels real. It feels authentic. Okay? So we're finding another piece we're finding which i want to bring in so we can start to feel the energy of moving to that is balance in this out of control world where we just get go crazy because everybody else is outside of our reality and we're going oh my god they're hurting people they're being mean they're being angry i don't like that it's supposed to be all light remember all we can control is our sense of light it is all light here. I radiate it into the world. And because of that, I feel connection with all that's part of light. I don't feel isolated. I don't feel alone. And I don't have to be so messed up about what others are or aren't doing. So back to balance. It is also vital for us to take into account the balance of how we need to give expression to ourselves. The balance between stillness and being the warrior. The balance between the flow and giving clear direction and purpose in our life. The balance of being full-bodied and powerful. And the balance to that of being nurturing and quiet and receptive. We're always finding the balance. Don't work with it too hard in your in your little main, main brain stem. <laughs> but just know that in one moment you may be one side, the other on um, on the other side, and you're finding the balance by moving back and forth. Stillness, warrior. Stillness, warrior. You see? So there's room for every aspect of your unique expression. So let's take a moment to soar into the expanded space that always exists and is so important for us to know inherently within us is always available. That sense of soul reunion to liberation, freedom, and the sense that you do soar in your experience even while you're taking care of all the details that allow your human life to move forward in conjunction with spirit. So feel your attention on your beautiful heart. Feel that sense, ah, I am in command of love and wisdom co-creating within me. The only reason something hasn't happened is because of me, not because it hasn't come through energetically. It's all available to us. I no longer wish to be in the way of that glory and liberation. Feel that in your heart and feel even deeper a longing to soar in the liberated state of the freedom to be. Take a deep breath and bring light into your body. The light of knowing that you can access freedom just like that, just like that. And feel within yourself a sense of an opening, like a grand portal that and see it or feel a grand portal moving out into the universe, zooming you in to that largeness of universe, taking you to that space of complete liberation and freedom, limitless. Maybe you even see yourself as a bird flying, a cloud moving gracefully, Maybe you feel a sense of the ease and the flow. Take a breath to know how easy and simple it is to move into that space. You are free. 
and feel all the energy that's around you celebrating your freedom, your liberation, your sense of self naturally here. And if you wish to spend more time in this space, pause this recording. Stay there. Really drink it in. Find your way. And then when you're ready to feed your heart with that sense of quiet, soaring, expansive aliveness of movement that says, I am everything. Feel that moving down the portal that you have opened. And feel that liberated sense bringing with it such a collective of energy beingness, universal nature that supports you completely as you bring it into your heart space. Breathe that into your heart, receiving it deeply. Feel your heart opening to take that in. Feel the sense of ease, of being in command of your movement. Whether you move forward with a sense of quiet, peaceful stillness, or move forward with a sense of potent warrior, go for it. You are free to give authentic expression to what is real for you now. And as you feel that you are free to give expression to what is true for you now, breathe that into your abdomen, into the lower half of your body. All freedom comes with me. All liberation moves me forward. This is truly your soul reunion to all that you wish to bring forward, to be free, to be available to it. This energy awaits you. It is such an honor to be with you today, to magnify this vibration to have this place of wisdom, of freedom, to love what you love, to be what you love to be, and to be happy in that. And feel how it takes you out of needing to judge others because they aren't with you on the exact same wavelength. You are on the wavelength that matters to you and you accept the wavelength that matters to them. And in that communion, you co-create from an expanded space of movement, clarity, and joy. To your blessed day, freely offered as an inspiration to your world, that lucky world that you are that gets to know the freedom to be you.